everyone, welcome back. It's Moi aka Swedish Whiskey Girl and today we are here with Balmore 12. Uh, I wanted to do this when we uh, had a little facial week for the Isla Festival a few weeks ago uh, but I couldn't manage to squeeze it in because I didn't have time to go and get it but now I have it. So Balmore is a distillery, I think it was the first licensed distillery on Isla, dates back to 1779 so it's one of those pre-1800s distilleries. This one uh, is aged for 12 years is at 40% ABV and at Bowmore they use primarily ex-American oak casks uh, or ex-bourbon American oak casks but you can also find the kind of odd sherry expression like the 15 so if you like a bit of sherry and smoke that might be a good one to look at too. Uh, when we were on Isla we were in the town of Bowmore and we also saw the distillery which is located right on the beach but unfortunately we couldn't do a tour the, uh, when we were there but hopefully I can go back and see it. They have their own malting floors and it's because it's such an old distillery, I'm really, really fascinated, fascinated by them. And yeah, I'd just love to see it. I have found myself to be in a bit of a peated mood lately. So maybe it's uh, all kind of coming back. So I'm excited to try this because I've not tried Bowmore in ages. But let's start by having a look on the nose. But is quite an interesting one because I feel like if you like smoke but you don't want super heavily peated or super like punch in the face peat like you might find from Ardbeg and Laphroaig, um, Bowmore has always been for me a little bit of that bonfire smoke but a little bit milder. Yes, yeah, so it's just like a toned down version a bit if you just, you like a bit of smoke but you don't want soup a lot, a lot of smoke but it's still, I mean P is the kind of main character of it. And definitely what you get on the nose. The kind of soft bonfire. Today it also feels a little bit more coastal than it usually does. Usually I get a bit of wood and then that smoke, but today's bonfire smoke, but also something almost salty. It almost reminds me a bit of seaweed. But there's also something else, like a golden syrup, almost. And almost a bit like a grapefruitiness. And some sort of spice, but it feels like a floral spice. First I wanted to say cinnamon, but because of that floral character, it almost makes me think of something else. because it does make me think a little bit of pollen and I think that's kind of the floral note in it. Like springtime flowers of some sort. <laughs> now when I'm really thinking about it, the floral note is all I can get. I can't get the peat anymore, but I'm a bit of a, um, I can get a bit peat lined. So if I don't focus a lot on the smoke, it might be that I'm just kind of, my nose gets past the smoke and because I mean, I would say that the main character of Beaumont is the smoke, um, but sometimes I feel like if you get used to the smoke, you, it's almost difficult to pick it out. But let's see what we get on, on the palette, Slangera. Yeah, definitely getting a bit peat lined. It is there on the finish. And it's a bit charcoaly like bonfire charcoal smoke and it's a bit sweet as well but what kind of sweetness almost like something sticky on the palette today this is almost the sarty for me like sticky maybe it's that golden syrup again but it also has like a grey note and some woodiness Almost reminds me a bit of flapjacks. But almost, um, the sweetness is like an oily sweetness. Quite fresh. Quite floral as well. It has a touch of something like the woodiness <clears throat> that almost reminds me of a bourbon. But it's such a soft, tiny little touch of it. 
that it's only kind of when you really like uh, try and get it out that you can taste it. There's this kind of greeny, fresh oakiness in the middle of it. The whole texture of it as well is quite surprising actually. It's very soft. Sometimes when you drink water you can feel that the water is super super soft, especially if it's um, the right temperature. But yeah, this definitely has that texture. Like floral green on the nose for me now. Really enjoying this. If someone's asked me what my favourite Beaumont is, I'd probably say the 15. I don't know if I've actually tried. I think it's the 18 and the 25 that is in the core range. But this is quite nice. It's hard, I'm, I'm kind of looking for the peat. And it's also kind of disappearing on the finish quite quickly. Which I wonder if you are peat blind. I mean, if you are peat blind, maybe you'll know this. Um, if you are feeling like, because some days I'm quite sensitive to smoking pick it out straight away, and sometimes I don't get it at all. So on days when you are a bit peat blind, do you find that the finish is shorter than it would be if you have that lingering smoke? Because um, obviously in peated whiskies, the smoke is one of those things that usually give it a really long finish. But it's, um, yeah, quite tricky to pick out today. And now I'm just thinking about that sweetness and the fruitiness. Because it's quite fresh. Almost has like a grapefruit in it as well. And a touch of that bonfire. That's, that's the only thing I'm getting, like the warmth of the bonfire. But yeah, I really enjoy this. I mean, I'd love to hear your thoughts on Bowmore. If you like the 12, do you like the 15? Or do you have another favourite perhaps? Please let me know in the comments below. And of course, I hope you've liked this video. If you have, please consider leaving maybe a like uh, and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you do want to support the channel, I have put my affiliate links to Master Mall, the Whiskey Exchange and the Scotch Mall Whiskey Society in the little description here below. And as always, I have forgotten <laughs> to say how much this retails for. I think it retails at £35. And I do want to say a thank you to all my lovely supporters on Patreon. I'm so grateful to have you guys with me on my whiskey journey. But yeah, I hope you're all having a lovely day and a good start to July. And I hope to see you in the next video. Slanjava, Skål!